it has been one day and we are buried again. It's the other day's work this is Monday. Bill's one. Um, two more feet to clear. Okay, so just hammered about a good amount of this. Just cleared a bunch of this stuff. Snowblower really comes in handy. As you can see from the pile up from the last clearing, it's getting to a point where it can't shoot because the sides are too high for the snowblower to even clear the previous piles, which creates an issue for uh, snow management here. Obviously with bigger plows, it's not a problem. It's like knee high, mine's almost to my shoulders. So getting around this vehicle today, clearing it, well, Buffalo, gotta be strong to get through this. I'm already tired. It's barely, not even 9 a.m. So the issue with the heavier snow from a couple days ago, as you snow blow this, or move it, it starts to almost, basically the same extent of an avalanche. Bottom snow loosens up, top snow comes down. So you're constantly battling this, as well as shoot can't shoot the snow from the center of the driveway out. So you gotta kinda accumulate to push it and it Almost time for a break. One thing we never mentioned, since we have a dog, we have to hand shovel. Okay. So keeping a spot available for him to use the bathroom, he's antsy. We have a large dog, but... Oh, that's just a whole nother piece of the puzzle that wasn't even shown in any of previous videos. Oh, dripping out the nose. First break, take stuff off. Beware of hitchhiking ghosts. They do indeed follow you home, which is terrible. Um, but had to dry off, warm up, and then we'll go out, finish the driveway, and do the porch. All right, took a break, had some eggs, doing the porch. Finishing up. So the plan here to be able to snow blow for those in a similar situation, you gotta cut the upper bank down so that the snow has somewhere to go as you blow it because they are so high. Stacy, yeah. isn't that great? I'm so grateful for the city of good neighbors. My body is grateful. <laughs> so part of the madness here is kind of like you just saw, even with a plow, where do you put it? It's like the hardest puzzle in the world, worse than Tetris because you're moving powdery, thick snow. And with the snow blower, you can only get it so high. And even with a plow, unless you have like city plow that's like heavy duty like it where and, do you put it all have, we have heavy we have a we have a real snow blower you know this isn't just a little snow throwers you know brush or whatever we have a real machine but yeah without bigger like tractors or trucks you can only get it so high yeah hearkening back to 2014 ish if i remember that correctly maybe 2012 2013 i don't know it's november it's november the no, first one national guard was doing streets and we're even clearing driveways for people because it was just that much ridiculousness so, much. so we are very grateful to this gentleman not that we're going anywhere there is a driving ban on it's just you know you yeah. got to keep up with it because there's not going to be a driving ban forever and heaven forbid there's an emergency and the news is saying we might even get another foot or so <laughs> they're funny lake effect snow we'll see we'll see global warming's not real huh 
This is ch this is changing. We, and what's crazy is we are in a very very specific location below the city of Buffalo, off of Lake Erie. Yeah. Um, that literally just this this small banded patch of us. Probably like, like a ten mile strip coming not, off of Lake not Erie. Even, maybe not even, but yeah, like uh, if you horizontally. Like, towns like Hamburg, Orchard Park, where the the home of the Bills, go Bills, um, West Seneca, Lancaster. Um, even get nor pummeled. northwest northwest Seneca is not like getting hit like south are. south op in hamburg it's not as bad but again you can you can drive you know 10 15 miles up the road in either direction and they didn't they, they only got a nearly, few inches nearly like us. but we got another couple feet overnight and plows just came by as you can see mucked some stuff up so we're gonna have to redo the end of the road or the driveway <sighs> We gotta deal with this all over again. It's like as tall as the vehicle. Ridiculous. The fact that this is like the whole side rivals many a storm. Multiple days. Again, remember, it goes back. Yeah, it's November. Even last year for Christmas Day, that was not this bad. This is getting a little ridiculous. Multiple driving bans throughout the week. And they think more is coming, too. Tonight. And I, I don't know what our official total is for today, but I know our total for where we live. Uh, the other day was um, about 40 inches. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's a similar snowfall total for today. And they're saying we could still get another foot overnight. We'll see what happens. I, I don't know where we're gonna put more snow at this point, but. We can handle it, it's just, you know. There you have it, another day of clearing out snow. Oh my gosh, these things are six foot all the way around. Taller than the vehicles. Guys, we're running out of places to put this snow. If we get another couple feet, I don't know what we're gonna do, but thanks for coming along, checking this out. Yeah, this is Wednesday, 17th. Monday, we had like the same amount. So we're going on multiple poundings of snow, multiple feet over like two or three days. Luckily we had that one day in between the rest, but if you guys enjoyed it, subscribe, all that stuff. You know what to do at this point. I mean, come on, ring the bell, sort of thing. And we'll see you in another snow video, probably coming real soon. This is ridiculous. All right. Stay warm, guys.